Hey, it's Dr. Look a lot of puss here. And Professor Bestesis. You're tuned into Foreskin Radio. On a beautiful sunny day. Out here in Vancouver, BC. We're down by the water. Down by the water. So we were like, we we're at Denny's, you know, having some breakfast, Joe. And, uh, you know, Grant's name. Mo uh, was it moon over my hammies? Yeah, know? I had moon over my hammies, and I forgot one of my half of my sandwiches there. It's, you know, because it's hard to pack a sandwich. It's hard to pack a sandwich. We you know, about it's like, hard to pack a sandwich. It's, it's a hard to pack a sandwich, because, like, because right. then you got this, like, sandwich in this, like, container and shit, mm -hmm. and then you got to, like, carry that with you, right? And then you don't know if, like, if it's out in the sun too long, if it goes bad or something, and then you eat a sandwich. It might be mayonnaise and that shit or something, you know? Like, right, and what if you meet a bitch, right? What if you meet some chick, right? Like, Maybe you want a piece of my sandwich? Like, what do you, like... Like, if you go on a date or something like that, right, and it's hard to pack a sandwich. Like, you feel kind of, like, poor, right? You meet some girl, you go on a date, right, and you didn't finish your, your half a sandwich, and you're like, I'll take this sandwich home with me. With me. She's like, really? I'm like, yeah, I don't need, I need a fucking sandwich. I need something to eat later. She's like, oh, well, you ain't got no money. Is that what white people do? No, I don't know. Okay, because I always date colored people, and actually it's funny because with colored people, we always think of packing shit up afterwards. Like, Well, you got to. You we, can't yeah. waste it. We went out um, like last year with um, Mitsu and uh, her, his girlfriend Yuki, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And friends of ours. With Chega Shabazz. And we all went to this Szechuan place. And it was funny because after we were done eating, there was still enough to pack up. And the professor got up ready to leave. But me, I the need two that Japs, shit in a box. And the Filipino Put all that. stopped and looked at the food like, we should pack that up. <laughs> That that's, shit. that's packable, man. We can still eat it. And it's so funny because... That's my lunch the, tomorrow. <laughs> so anyway, we were in Denny's, right? And uh, we overheard these women talking about, you know, this one woman, she, she can't meet anybody, right? It's like so hard to meet somebody, right? And it's like, it's funny. It's one of those stereotypical conversations you hear people have in like TVs and movies and stuff, mm. right? It's like, oh, I just can't meet anybody. And, and then the woman's like, you know, so what do you do? What do you do for fun and stuff? And she's like, oh, I don't really, I'm not really active. I don't really do things, right? And she said, well, you should join a running club. You know, that's how you meet people. You, know, you got to do, you have to join clubs and mm -hmm. stuff, right? It was pretty good advice, right? But she's like, all I do is like read. And what like clubs? Book club. Oprah, book Oprah club. has them. Yeah. You know what's funny? I, but you don't I never meet knew, men there. You don't meet men there. I never knew, uh, gay men. I never knew, <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you going to do with a gay man? Hook it up with but, a but, fucking uh, but like, brother? But women join book clubs, right? You mm. don't, men don't do that sort of thing, right? I She's joined, trying to meet a man. man. I joined anime clubs to find some fucking chick who'll dress up like little cartoon shit. And then, you know, pleasure me. But then they're all like, they're all, they're nerds. And <laughs> I can't relate. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're right. all talking in Japanese and shit. I under some, understand some words. But then I'm like, I'm sorry, man. Look, you know, I like being brown. I mean, I'm down with, you I know, like being brown. Caucasian culture and Asian culture. I think they're a fantastic culture. It's a, it's a genre, but. But it's hard to meet point. people. It's hard to meet yeah. people. And here's something I want to bring up that like. It's, it's funny because people. being there, listening to that conversation between those two white women, I didn't know white people really talk like that. I thought they just talk like that in movies. I'm the TV serious. and stuff. Yeah, no, it I seems didn't surreal. Know. Yeah, it, it was like, like, where's the camera? Yeah. What's going on? Like, yeah. like they, this, like what we're doing, right? They we really think that's talk what like doing. that, guys. They really talk like that. And she's like, well, I, you know, I do some reading and stuff like that. That's all I really do, right? Yeah. And like, if you, but the thing is, it's like it's, it's hard to it's hard to date, you know. Like it's hard to meet people, right? So if you like, you have to like fake an interest in something, right? But then you're not being genuine, right? Like I could like fake an interest in like fucking knitting and joining a stitching bitch, right? <laughs> and I'm stitching sitting there, bitch, right? But it's not a real. It's not authentic, you know. So it's not me. It's not me, yo. It's not me. So they're not meeting me. They're meeting this fake me, you know. That's going to these things, you know. Like, uh, you know, like uh, remember Fight Club. And the dude was like going to all those meetings and yeah, stuff, like right? Yeah, like testicular cancer and brain termites and all this and that shit. Right. It's like, it's all fake, yo. It's all fake. <laughs> you know, it's funny. But he met Marla there. That's true. Yeah, that's how he met Marla. She was being fake too. That's true. And that was their common interest. They were both being fake, just trying to connect with people. What about in internet dating? Like, his, that's never worked for me. I, because I don't know, I, I found a trouble... I have trouble with meeting people online because it's like, you know, you meet people, like you, you try to talk to people, but really, you know, how do you connect in a meaningful way on the internet? I always meet crazy bitches. It seems like that, like crazy people, like, but the, the internet is full of fake people too, right? It's hard to, hard to be authentic, you know? Like I want to meet a girl who's authentic. I don't want to meet a girl who's like, got like some kind of like rock band t-shirt and you go, hey, I like that rock band. And she's like, who? 
I'm just wearing it because it's cool. You're like, fuck that shit. You know what? We did an experiment actually on Foreskin Radio where we, um, and we take the best of my qualities, the best of Professor's qualities, and the best of Sheikh Shabazz's qualities. Not even. Some of the, well, I chose the best and the worst. And, and then put it all together put in it all one together profile. Into, into one profile, and I started off with a white guy named Brock. Brock. How did Brock do? Brock did exceptionally well. Like, and I put down like my shit. Like, you know, I, I like to smack women around while I'm sleeping with them in bed. You wouldn't believe the bitches I got. Really? How hard do you like to go? Whoa! And it was funny because most of my um, most of my connection was Caucasian and Asian. Like a couple of Asian, but mainly Caucasian, right? And they're looking, they're like, oh, you like taking a scuba dive? Oh, me too. Yeah. Scuba diving. And you know, mostly like it was the S&M thing that was like big for them. But it was all fake. Yeah, it was all fake. So it was totally but you're pulling, fake. But you're pulling on these yeah. girls' heartstrings and they're falling for it, right? Yeah. So what does that say about dating? It's like women want some kind of like fake ideal? Is yeah. Is that what they want? And they see, want something that you can't really offer. You got to make up. Exactly. And fake it till you make it. Well, because with Brock, we a I added things that are stereotypical to Caucasian people, stereotypically what colored people think. Like I put, you know, he likes to, you know, a scuba dive, he likes to, likes play to tennis, go hiking. You know, go, yeah, hiking was one of them, camping. Skiing. And then snowboarding, that was one, snowboarding. Mm. So then I said, okay, the same qualities, take away all the other filler shit, now make him black. And I called him Tyrone. Tyrone. And I added in, he drove a 78 Impala. He liked to cruise down Beach Avenue. Drinking 40s. Yeah, drinking 40s. Beach and Front he, Avenue. And fucking, it was awesome. Like, I had him playing basketball, chilling with his niggas. Were, were, girls, were girls into it? Yes, I got a lot of big-boned white girls, Jamaican girls, Spanish girls. And you know what? These girls were like, mmm, I, I, lo I love your 78 Impala. You know, the Impala is so nice. I'm into lowriders, blah, blah, blah. Those bitches gave their numbers to me without even me asking them. Most of them wanted to hook up. I had to lie and say, you know, as Tyrone. Fake and it. I yeah. had to say, like, well, and, I, I, I'm busy yeah. that day. Both Brock and Tyrone had the same credentials. They were like six foot, one hundred and whatever pounds, right? Well, well, so anyway. ultimately, what did you learn? Well, I learned that if you're black, women want to sleep with you so badly that they'll put up with any bullshit you say. Even if you say you're in Malaysia for a couple of weeks, sorry, baby girl, I'll hook up with you when I come back from Malaysia. Then they're like, okay, well, when you come back, just call me up. And I learned that with white people, they're more like, well, you know, we, with the black, okay, straight up. With the black dude, they were really eager just to fuck. Just to fuck. With the white dude, they, make they wanted babies. to, they wanted, yeah, they wanted to get to know you better. Mm. Go on a date, go hiking. Except do some yoga. Yep. Except some of the big boned white girls that were for Tyrone, they wanted to, you know, talk to him and see if he had any kids and some of them had kids and blah blah blah. <laughs> you know? How many baby mamas? How many babies <laughs> how many babies do you have with how many mamas? So then and I hate to summarize this this way, but it seemed like the colored girls just wanted sex and the white girls really wanted a deep down relationship. And this and is a scientific this experiment. This is a scientific experiment. And I think this is true because a lot of people and I I psychoanalyze this, right, to like my own culture, in the Indian culture. And I'm like, when it comes down to it, a lot of people who are ethnic, you know, will date other cultures, other races, no problem. But then when it comes to marriage, we'd probably end up more likely more likely than not marrying our own race. But if we did meet someone and we did connect at a very deep level with them that wasn't our ethnicity, I'm talking me being Indian and marrying an Asian girl or an Asian girl marrying a white guy or a fucking Filipino dude marrying a black chick, you know? Sometimes it just works. Now, I'm not saying that this is completely correct. It's not like completely like foolproof. This is just based on this one experiment. And if you can prove me wrong, please give us a video response. Because I'm very interested to hear what you got to say. Oh, I'm not I'm trying sure, to be racist. I'm, I'm sure, trying to I'm say, sure those YouTube people yeah. got a lot of hate for yeah, that. So. From the experiment now, that we just conducted, like that's just but, all I could summarize from that. Now, how does this help regular guys meet chicks? And how does like chicks meet guys? Like how, okay. in the real world, like, because you can't be a fake person, Mm -hmm. You got to be yourself, right? Yep. There's no way around it. How how does this information gonna affect the way you date? You got to be confident. You got to say, hey, what's up? You got to. It's worked. I've done that to some girls. You know, they'll be looking at me smiling. I'll feel insecure. Oh, look away. You know. Then I look back to see. Wait a minute. She was giving me a chance, and then they already walked by. But if they do look, and I just say, stop. How you doing? They're like, oh, pretty good. How are you? They're so willing to have a conversation. Initiate. All you got to do is so say yo. Initiate. Initiate. Say yo. Say yo. Say yo. Let's go. And they'll be like, all right, let's go. I believe it. Well, there you go. Uh, some scientific uh, research and dating. Okay, whatever. Right. Whatever. Right. 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 So this is Foreskin Radio Video. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, we'll catch you on the regular. 
foreskinradio.com for the podcast. Good on you. Remember, you want pussy? Holla holla. Holla holla holla.